Welcome back everyone to Terraria! This is Chaos Havocs and last time we got the cloud in the bottle which allows us to perform the awesome double jump. Uh, we also managed to find one of those houses I mentioned, those underground bases. Those are very useful and I am quite surprised we actually ran into one. Which means we can also loosen up how much we use of these wooden platforms. As now we can just double jump everywhere. All you all you have to do to have the uh, double jump equipped is have the bottle in your accessory slot. You only have five, but trust me, there's a, quite a few accessories and it'll get hassleless later on. But they'll let in another cool feature, but I'll discuss that when we get to it. So at the moment, we're on the hunt for materials for better armor. Because why, you ask? Well... The reason? Ugh, looks like I still need one down here. That or a block. Anyways, uh, the reason we're going after bosses now is because that <clears throat> is how we're going to be getting a lot of demonite. You saw that, like, piddly five-piece ore vein? Yeah, well, that's what we're going to be looking for crystal hearts and armor pieces so that way we don't die miserably like I've been shown to do another cool accessory to have is the er uh, cloud in a bottle I mean uh, the cloud in the bottle <laughs> is what we just got I've just been monologuing about for 15 minutes oh uh, no another cool thing to have is the uh, red balloon because it allows you to jump farther and that adds for both jumps and the double jump you can even fuse the two with a Tinkerer's workbench, but that is very long ways away. By then, we'd even be in demonite armor before we even had a chance at having one of those. So, yeah. Anyways. I guess we'll go back to the beaten path and then follow that one out offshoot we found last episode. Although, I am glad I went off the beaten path this way, as last time... We did find this awesome accessory. Sorry if I keep monologuing on it, but double jumping is going to be infinitely useful. And it will probably be one of our staple accessories till... Ever. Till I die, basically. And you can use it to save your life. You can fall from a distance, and then when you're just about to fall, hit the space bar and you'll... And the cloud in the bottle will save your life. Invaluable. Because, as you've seen, I'm t prone to falling. A lot. Any more seeds? Nope. More shrooms, which is nice. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of something in my throat, and it's just not coming out. Sorry if it picks up. Die. Yes, more seeds. Awesome. Anyways, let's go down, see what we can find. Give me a hook! Come on, yes. We want the hook from these guys. As, oh, well, I've explained in the last few episodes. You get it by now. Really? I got a hundred copper coins. Right from that skeleton. So they're good money, too. Huh. Who'd have thunk? Anyways, I think the offshoot was up in here. I know I left a, a glow stick somewhere. So that'd be a good telltale. Yeah, this is it. I would not have left something so unlit. Oh, yeah, nor would I have left this. Oh, yeah. Double jumping. Already awesome. Can only do to get better. down this way <gasps> yes this was worth it a crystal heart yeah. Ninja. Ninja. Eat. 
All right, I'm going to trash a bit of these. Yes, using shift click the right way this time. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, look at this. Topaz, yes. Cool. More gems. I'm gonna look around here for a bit, guys, as it seems that this place is. Ooh, emerald over there. Seems that this place is just chock full. It's the kind of path we needed to get back on our track of mining. Anyways, what's up here? Yes, double jump. Ah, fail, double jump. Arrgh. Ah! Yes, it's usually easier to use the double jump than it looks. I'm just failing. You just press the space bar twice. Anyways, let's go down deeper, deeper still. Let's avoid going in the water. Well, last time going in the water proved fruitful as it showed us a rather nice underground moves. Give me your glow stick. Yes. Ah, okay. oh, yes. Well, so it's nothing but building. But it's all cool. It's all part of the process. Although I am quite glad we were able to make an iron skin potion, as those are invaluable against bosses. Like, I'd recommend you having a set for every boss. They're just that useful. Did I put that hammer away again? Crap, I think I did. Urgh. ADHD at its finest, folks. Anyways. Let's get the hammer. Where did you go? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, that's what I don't like about chests. You can't break the chest even if there's one measly little item in it. I don't know why that is. It just seems kind of flawed to me. But I digress. Yes, storage space galore. Alright, now we need gel and wood for the torches. So, uh... 18 gel. A black lens. Useless, but kind of cool. If we get enough, we can make sunglasses with them. Wood. Yes, now we can make torches. And we can make a few more arrows as well. Which will be useful. And then... And now, let us go. We have, see, right there. The air, this is what I like about Terraria. Unlike bows in most other games, they tell you how much ammunition they have right there, right next to the weapon. You can see I have 112 rounds, meaning I can shoot 112 times. I think you can hold up to a stack of maybe 200 arrows. I'm curious, what was down here? Just a lot of water? Ooh. Think fast, right? Yes, it was just a lot of water. What the crap? Oh, uh, speaking of crud, crud, crud. <gasps> oh yeah, that was close. That could have been very bad, very fast. All right, now let's get to the thick of it. 
More demon altars. This one actually in our uh, cave system. Yeah, I think I'll dig over there and just help myself over to that. Demon altars are, if you can have one near your house, invaluable. They are useful for making all sorts of things. Very cool things. And mid-game they serve another use when you can actually break them. Yes, the most tedious part of this game, I honestly think, is digging just straight out tunnels. And that's what I like about Terraria's lighting engine. You can visibly see the light shift once you break open the cave more. I find it kind of cool. Don't know about you all. I just think it's just a feat of engineering. At least for its time, it was. this was a fairly old game, maybe three or four years. For a Minecraft clone at, that it was at the time, it's still pretty good. And now that it's its own game, it's pretty...